Automatic lane detection is a crucial technology that enables self-driving cars to properly position themselves in a multi-lane urban driving environment. Many computer vision methods have been developed to the purpose of solving the lane detection problem. However, these traditional techniques of which many tutorials are being posted on YouTube requires a lot of computation, not to mention the complexity of the code needed for their implementations. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own intelligent and efficient lane detection system using TensorFlow and Keras. In the past few decades, deep learning has proved to be a very powerful tool because of its ability to handle large amounts of data. The interest to use hidden layers has surpassed traditional techniques, especially in pattern recognition. One of the most popular deep neural networks is convolutional neural networks. CNNs are commonly applied to image processing and analysis. They are composed of multiple layers of artificial neurons, each layer extracts an increasingly complex set of features starting from simple lines to more complex corners and edges, and finally arriving at the final prediction of faces, objects, and so on. But before the image is fed to these neuron layers, it has to pass through several convolution and pooling layers. These layers are responsible for reducing the spatial size of the features in order to decrease the computational power required to process the data. Supervised machine learning projects are often separated into two phases. The first one concerns the training process, where the agent learns to achieve a certain task given labeled examples of the task as inputs. At the end of this phase, the CNN model is saved and can be then deployed to real life applications without the need to retrain the model all over again. In this video, which is the first of a two part series about lane detection, we will start by the second phase. In the description box below, you will find the link for all the necessary files we are going to use. Among those, you will find the file named model h5. This file contains an already trained lane detection CNN model. That's why we will first learn how to deploy and test this model by giving it a video of our choice as input. In the second video of this series, I'm going to show you how you can properly train and save this model, providing a scalable code that you can benefit from even in other machine learning projects. So let's get started. In machine learning projects, you usually have two choices. The first one is using your own machine to train and run the AI agent. To do this, you will need to download several libraries, such as TensorFlow, which can be a little bit annoying if you don't have good internet connection not to mention the somewhat high hardware requirements. The second choice is using the Google Colab platform that enables you to escape the hardware problem, but still you have to upload and download the input and output videos. Don't worry, I'm going to explain both of these methods in detail and you can choose whatever method is more suitable for your case. The second link I provided in the descriptions take you to Google Colab. After opening a new notebook, you will get this window where most of our work will be done. Change the name of the notebook to something more suitable and let's start. The first step is to import the Google Colab Files module. This module will allow us to upload files from the PC to the Google Colab project. Running this command will prompt a pop-up window on where we can choose which file to upload. If you click the file tab, you should see the uploaded file shown there. Next, you have to install this version of the SciPy module since the current existing version will not work. Don't forget to execute every piece of code as shown here. Next, these modules have to be imported. I'll explain each one of them in details when we use it, so don't worry just yet. We will now import the lane detection CNN model we just uploaded a second ago using Kira's model's method called load model. 
The next step is to create a class called lanes and define the init method of this class that will contain only two lists. The recent fit list, which is responsible for storing the most recent predictions, and the Ave fit that will contain their average. The predictions we are talking about look something like this. The CNN model will predict whether each pixel in the frame belongs to the lane or not. It will do this for every frame of the input video of course. And that's it, this is all what the lane class contains. Now it is time to define a function that does some sort of pre-processing to the input video, frame by frame. We will call it road lanes. First of all, we need to resize each frame using im resize that we imported earlier and make it 80 by 160. This third dimension represents the RGB layers and that means our image is colored. The small image is then turned into a numpy array which will make the code more efficient. And after that, we proceed in adding another dimension to the image. In this dimension, the prediction for each pixel in the image will be stored. The pre-processing is basically done now. All we have to do is to feed the image to the CNN model by using this method. Of course, we will keep only the predictions part by specifying the zero index. And since the prediction will be between zero and one, we have to multiply by 255 in order to be able to use it as an image. Otherwise, it will be so dark. The prediction is appended to the recent fit list of the lanes class as we mentioned earlier. And if the length of this list exceeds 5, then we will discard the first element of the list each time. And that means the list will only contain the maximum of 5 elements. This moving window of 5 predictions will be averaged using the mean method from NumPy as shown in here. Producing a black and white image where the brightness of each pixel indicates the probability of this pixel being a part of the lane or not. Another matrix slash image blanks is created. This matrix will be identical in shape to the average prediction matrix, but initialized to zero for the moment. Next, we will use the method dstack that will stack the average matrix that contains the prediction between two layers of blanks. And this will create our RGB image. We already said that we need three layers in an image, the red layer, the green layer, and the blue layer. We chosen our predictions layer to be the middle one. That means it will be shown as green in the final video. We will resize the image again to match the input size. The final step will be to overlay our output image over the input image using add weighted method from the OpenCV, giving the two images the same weight and we return the result. We are almost done, we just have to use the function we just created. First of all, we will upload the input video to the project the same way we uploaded the CNN model. A few moments later. And then we read this file using the video file clip function from the MoviePy module and assign a name for the output video and finally use the filter function road lanes by passing it as an argument to the fl image method that will filter each and every frame of the input using the road lines function. After this final portion of the code is executed, which may take from several seconds to several minutes depending on the size of the input video, a few moments later. The final result will be located in the files tab in the sidebar. We can then download it and view it in our computer. As you can see here, this looks good. The lane is being detected using very little computational power, which demonstrates the true power of neural networks. There is a little bit of noise, but this can be avoided by training a better agent either by changing the model structure or the quality and amount of data used in the training phase. We will do this in the second video. But for now let me show you how you can do the same process in your local machine instead of the Google Colab platform. Personally, I prefer this second method over the first one for working with videos because uploading to Google Colab usually is a slow process. In PyCharm, 
create a new project using a new environment, make sure to have a Python 3.6 because this will not work with Python 3.8. After the project is created, we start installing the necessary modules and libraries using the terminal. We start with OpenCV by typing this command. I already installed these libraries, so this won't take much time. And then install TensorFlow by typing pip install TensorFlow. This will take the longest, since it's about 400 megabytes. Then we install MoviePy, and after MoviePy we install this version of SciPy, exactly like we did in the Google Colab environment. When you finish, go ahead and pass the folder you downloaded from the first link below to the CNN project path, and create a Python file inside this. We will call it Lane Detection Main. The path of the model and the input files can be extracted easily just by right-clicking on them and choose Copy Absolute Path, like this. We will need this later. The hard part is over now, we just need to repeat what we did in Google Colab. After importing the modules we need, the Keras load model method is called make sure to pass the correct absolute path to the CNN model. Of course, there is no need for uploading anything, since all the files are already present in our project. The lanes class and the road lines function will be exactly the same as Google Colab. And also the few lines of code beneath. The only difference this time is that we will not call the upload line for importing the input video. Alright, the code now is done, all we have to do is to create a configuration file like this, to run the script easily, or you can run it from the terminal, it's your choice. When executing the script, make sure you have internet connection, because the MoviePy module requires it when writing the final output video. When the script is executed, you will find the result in the same folder. Just copy the absolute path and open the folder using Windows Explorer. And congratulations, now you have a working lane detection system that you can use easily with this script. A quick disclaimer, I found the original file of this script in GitHub. When I was looking for inspiration for a beginner-friendly project in deep learning, I only had to make some minor modifications and debugging. But in general, this project is a great way to start in deep learning for beginners. All I have left to tell you now is stay safe, see you in another video with another idea. Goodbye.